Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry I've been away, I have had the dreaded flu guys. Oh my god, it literally knocked me for six. But I am back and ready to do a quick little DIY with you. So for this one, all you need is a photo frame. You'll need some wallpaper. Um, you could also use scrapbook paper, um, a magazine page. Anything that you see that has like a really nice design that you like that catches your eye, a pair of scissors and a pen. And all you're going to do is take the back out of your photo frame. I really like these ones. This was from Poundland and they're not like, you know, you normally have like the metal kind of ones that you have to use either a screwdriver with or a pair of scissors with. They're kind of really sharp, but these ones, they just turn. So I really like that. And then this should just pop out. like so and put that to one side I like to use this as a guide just makes it a lot easier so find a section that you like my paper oh there's a bit of a stain there glad I looked okay so just place it somewhere on your paper and then you just trace around this guide So I hope everyone is well. I've missed you guys. Like I've really just, oh, you know when you have that cold and you're feeling a bit sorry for yourself. Um, but I have been kind of um, watching YouTube and, oops. I really should have had something underneath this because I'm actually doing this on my bed. This wasn't the smartest idea, Nikki, but I really just wanted to get something out to you guys. I felt really bad that my last video um, was almost three weeks ago. I can't believe it. Um, so, yeah, so once you've done that, you're just going to cut that out. Once you have that, you just place it inside your frame. Obviously put the backing back on. Some people take this off if you're not intending to use it as a frame, but I like to keep it on. It doesn't um, need to come off for this, what I'm going to use it for, so it can stay there. Just fasten it back up. And it's as simple as that, guys. And you have a nice little tray to put either trinkets on or some perfume or anything, really. But it's a nice little size to go on your bedside cabinet. And I'll show you what I put on it. 